What's up guys, Putty here and welcome back for another episode of Mid-Atlantic Wrestling, Total Extreme Wrestling, TW, Ultimate Warriors. Lily Snyder returns tonight, I'm not sure whether she's actually doing anything, but she's here. <laughs> she's she's in the building, she's back. For the first time in like a month, it'll be good, try and get her over, try and get her doing stuff, because she's actually good, she's a good worker. Fortunately we have a babyface champion though, so I'm not sure how much she's actually going to be doing. Should have a sold out Maw Zone tonight, let's hope so. Lots of stuff to be done. Again, no custom angles, because I'm just not feeling it right now. Got two debuts though, and uh, hopefully a good main event. Let's get rolling. Yes. Dynamite Express, Dynamite, Dynamite Express defeat uh, a random pair of jobbers and get a 45D. Aces of Mayhem defeated Firehouse and get a 40 D minus. That's not great considering that they're the two established tag teams. But oh uh, well. This was good. This was really good. Uh, Shoot Club defeat uh, George Wolf and Robin Newman. Again, rant collection of jobbers. Then uh, Disposable Heroes get defeated by Generation X. That's Brett Starr and Jay Cord. Anything? Nope. That looks good to me. Modern Dragon defeat Greg Gage and Bradley Blaze in a 68C+. Uh, obviously, they pinned Bradley Blaze. And then, I thought this might be better, but it's not. Ring Generals defeat Honolulu Joseph and Sammy Batch. Back. And obviously, they pinned Honolulu Joseph. Then, Val Bryden narrates the dance segment to open the show. And then, the opening segment is an intro video. And for sure, you are letting me down, my son. You are letting me down. Uh, including pretty much the entire roster. At least the entire relevant roster. Moving on to Alicia Strong catchphrase. Alicia Strong match. That was really good. Steph Blake debuts. Not a good gimmick. We'll switch it to no gimmick after this. Really good really good opener from Steph. Well then. Animal Deville is shown in a video. Animal Deville is attacked by, uh, by Team Chaos again. Which is always good to see. And then they hype themselves up. Then Boom King defeating Robbie Wright. Boom. I mean, they're both good wrestlers. I shouldn't really be su surprised by this, but uh, hopefully Robbie is not improving enough to warrant that, which is unfortunate. But oh, and yeah, just no negatives. These guys are just good, just good workers. Casey Valentine gets a catchphrase, and then the semi-main event gets a C plus. Okay, order was a bit off on that one. Shooter Sean Dealey debuts, and uh, teams with Casey Valentine to defeat Crime and Punishment. They have a throw cuts his catchphrase. And then the main event. It's a B. Like probably our best main event in a while. For sure defeats Deuce Deadline in 9 minutes and 55 seconds. With a sure thing. And the show gets a B. We're on a hot streak for uh, TV shows booking. We're just booking good matches in the main event. Yeah. That's the thing like. You concentrate too much on stories. You do lose your ratings. But then like the game becomes a soulless wrestling machine. If you uh, if you concentrate too much on getting good ratings. Alright, Jake Cord is gone, but he's now unemployed. Oh no! We're not too small for you. You can't get a job anywhere else. Yeah, bullshit. I guess we, I guess we are a little too small for him. Everyone's feeling knackered because they're working a ton of different shows. Team Chaos did not complain, which I gotta give him a bit of props for. Team Chaos are just sucking it up, man. Just sucking it up. Uh, Deuce Deadline. I want to check the overness ratings, obviously. Staying about the same from that loss. Robbie Wright is up from that loss? Am I right in saying that? I don't know. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. It's hard to check these days because I work so many shows a month. But he's up, definitely. Ernest Youngman is up from that segment they had. And in terms of the storyline, which is the one I'm looking for right now. Fantastic! On two of the guys. So we'll get we'll uh we'll get that up next grade and still just great for these two. But it might actually be worth taking them out a like, great with a B plus. I don't think we're gonna get much better than that actually. Yeah. Hundreds momentum for our tag champs. What else could you want? How much how much more prestige do you want than hundred momentum tag champs? I mean come on. Especially with Nigel Oh Nigel, why? Sons of bitches. What about Shoe Club? No. Anybody in here doing very good? Ooh, you are. Brooke Tyler. Yes. Of course you are at 100 momentum because you are amazing. Because you are the best in the world at what you do. Uh, no real point ending these yet. They won't be anywhere near it. These guys might be doing good enough to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Yes, that was the right call. I, I, I believe it. I believe it was the right call. None of these are ready to be removed yet. Oh, oh, of course, Jake Cord has left. <laughs> and he's not coming back. We've got to kind of come to terms with that. <laughs> I don't think he's ever coming back. At least not until he goes to somewhere where we can loan him. Oh! Oh, we improved everywhere except for our two spillover regions. That sucks. <laughs> you suck, game. That means we're probably not going to improve in these two regions this month. It sucks. We're going to go one more, one more show to do it. Well, let's, let's hope. So looking through the tag team division. We've still got these two doing quite well. Um, but they haven't improved much. Shoot Club are getting there. Cheetah Boy and Nigel, our tag champs, are getting there. It'll be interesting to see, uh, come... Holy shit, they're four-time champions. <sighs> I guess they got the tag experience for it. It'll be interesting to see, uh, come Sam Keith Classic, which is in July, so it's not too far away now. There's only two shows in between it now and then. What kind of, like, tag division we have when we get there. Yeah, it's quite interesting to see. I might experiment with running, like, a tour soon like just running like a week of shows somewhere just to see what kind of what kind of profits for one and what kind of uh, po uh, popularity gains we can get out of it it might be worth it with the profit we're currently making yeah it might be worth going to like the, one of the spillover regions great lakes or southeast and just running a bunch of shows there to get our pop up to try and hit cult not that I'm too enthusiastic to hit cult because it's going to cost us shit tons of money, but hitting cult, cult, hitting cult cabana, hitting cult will allow us to get pay per view deals. At least I think that's how it works. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Let's take a pay per view summary, summary this, this this year. Yeah, obviously them at the top. You got made a pride doing pretty well for itself. And of course, to burning hammer for as much as their wrestlers have been failing recently are totally getting towards the top. I love Burning Hammer. I wish I knew how to freaking book it. I wish I did. I really do. Who's been winning these? So Elemental th uh, Elemental 3 one is third. Uh, Elemental 3 is junior champion again, which is always good to see. I like Elemental 3. I don't like the uh, junior re-renders that I'm seeing here. Hmm. What evs? What evs? Uh, yeah, Sensational Dragon is great. Tag team is, there you go, Sensational Dragon. See how good he is. Yeah, I mean, I think that underestimates him. Look at those skills up there. Uh, what about Mystic Dragon? Similarly good. Oh, shit. He's only 30. He has 97 psych. Wow. The Burning World is currently Masuda. I don't even know who that is. I know Kikawa. Holy shit. Four year title reign. I know we're talking Puro here, but still, that is that is quite the accomplishment. Don't know those guys. And currently, I Aizada is currently the... Whoa, the King of Fighters, the Inspire title has actually gotten to higher heights than... Wait a minute. Five year title reign. <laughs> He's had the title since the game began. Look at this. I... <sighs> They are not impressing me right now. Burning Hammer. Step your game up. 299s, man. I don't know. Maybe they're harder to book than I'm giving them credit for. Like, I can't book 99s. I can say that for a fact. Anyway, we're making this a long episode. That I didn't want it to be. Uh, Greg Gage and Sammy back. We're going to let leave. We're also going to try and get Greg back. We'll... Talk about that when we need to. Chloe Dean is still a manager with clients. We need to turn her. Get that out of my head. Turn her next episode. Um, I don't think there's much else to talk about. We got Oshex Inks. We got the stable still going. They've stalled, but you know, whatever. AD is still good for their momentum. Oh, we got an Ace Youngblood. I should mention this. We got an Ace Youngblood re-render. That is old. There it is. I like this one. Um... We're probably going to switch to it when he turns 40 or something, if we, if we get that, that far. Because uh, I think it's cool for an aging Ace Young. But if we can get him to a decent enough skill, which, poof, God, that is, that is some improvement in Psych right there. 
Oh, uh, that that C plus to B minus boundary really is the difference between a, a decent and a good superstar. But uh, yeah, if we can get him far enough, maybe he could even be a decent road agent. Maybe I don't, I don't you know don't hold me accountable to that one, but just maybe. Max is even getting places like, yeah, they're good. They're good for each other. I like I like those two together. Um. I want to see if Nigel and Cheetah Boy are actually good for each other in terms of stats. So he's technical, but a little bit brawly. So Cheetah Boy would have to be high flying to really work well, I'd say. Which he is to some degree. I mean, they they fit decently. He's still like the not over one in the group. Wow, did I like screw him over or something? How did I screw Cheetah Boy with so much overness? I'm glad he's back up to decent overness now, but. Wow, oh, I, I don't know, I guess it got him pinned or something at the end of last month. How's Nigel doing? That's down, isn't it? No, that's the, that's most certainly up. Or is it? I'm sure he's at 40 at one point. It's up, it's up. Stop, stop, stop saying it. <laughs> stop bothering with it. It's still not our most over tag team, though. That still belongs to the ring generals, who still are young, quite young, you know. They're still 31. They got some time. I got some time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's really much else to say. Still trying to get Alicia strong over. That's where I think we've talked about this already, though. Know? Yeah. Getting there. Getting there. I'm I'm, imp I'm impressed by ooh TV rating. <sighs> Before I forget, I'm impressed by the amount of uh, by the the current run in terms of. Uh, uh, Triple H speaking. I'm impressed by the current run of grades on the TV stuff because I, I think it's doing pretty well. TV is hard to book for for me, especially at this level. Petar Novak. Um, yeah, especially at this level, but it's it's going all right now. Yeah, that's the thing. Like you can't, you've got to keep your old success criteria, if you know what I mean. So like before you would look at like a six month period and if someone's developed or got over in those six months, that's pretty good because you've had six shows. But now we got six shows in, in, in like six weeks. But at the same time, you only really get over on the shows, not the TV stuff. But you can lose over on us on the TV stuff. It's, it's, it's that kind of thing, you know, where you've just got to be careful what you book on TV. But, uh, yeah, it's what, uh, it's an interesting one. So, the rating plummets to a 0 0.11. Uh, Frankie Perez has changed to a regular wrestler. I miss you, Japanese junior. Oh, I wonder what Kill Switch looks like on this, on these re-renders. If, if he's changed at all, which he hasn't. Of course he hasn't. Brooke Tyler is still with them. Mikey James has been loaned. Oh, using the modern Japan movement. Let me into the modern Japan movement. Well, that's all. That's all. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm getting tired, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it off. In the next episode, I believe it is the Go Home Show, to um, Old School Rules or something like that. Yes, I believe it's Old School Rules. Uh, so I don't really know. Maybe I was thinking Madman, not Madman Boone. Boone King was gonna be the challenger for Frosher's title, and it would have been a good, freaking amazing match, but. I just realized I turned Boone King face, so that's not gonna happen. Maybe Shooter. I, I don't know. I don't know who we're gonna bring. We're gonna challenge for the title this month, or we're, if we're even gonna have a title challenge this month. Could go Madman. Actually, Madman's been in a feud, so it makes sense. It would. It would only make sense if we did Madman Boone. Or we could do Mark Speed. I mean, hell, we very much could do Mark Speed. I'm very much considering doing Mark Speed, actually. Yes, it's, it's almost confirmed that it's going to be Mark Speed versus for sure. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Please leave a thumbs up. Please leave a thumbs up. Check out the rest of the series. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any comments you have uh, down below. Any feedback you have in the comments. But keep in mind that I record these series well in advance, so you, I might not see your feedback in time to implement it properly. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching, and I will speak to you guys next time.